Actually, the best hairdresser I ever had was Italian. Her name was Cinzia, and she used to have a shop in Fulham. And she she did amazing things with my hair. She made it look fuller. I think it's, it was the her technique on, on the way she blow dried it. But she was just the best, the best hairdresser I ever had. And she had these lovely uh, men. I think they were they were they were not straight. They were gay, but they were so gentle with the hair. Whenever they washed it, it felt like they were they were touching gold. They were so gentle, and they'd massage the scalp so gently. There'd be no nails. They only used their fingertips, and it was so nice and soothing. So yeah, she had, and she had really amazing, lustrous, buoyant, beautiful luscious curl, curly hair sort of like a lion's mane but she she was amazing Cinzia and I had uh, there were these Italian sisters in my halls of residence in my first year halls of residence and the one that actually stayed in the halls not the one that visited because she, because she had a sister that visited her was very nice as well and she had this like amazing coat that was um sort of I don't know what you call it it's sort of like uh PVC leather but shiny sort of pa yeah patent leather so it looked really nice in the in, in the winter um when she wear them if she went out on a date to conquer <laughs> That's what she said. I'm going to conquer. <laughs> I, it was just a date. I'm sure there was nothing, nothing else to it. But the way she said it, it was really funny. What else? Oh, and then there was this one Italian girl. Um, I think she had a hearing disability. So, in my third year of halls of residence, I was in a different halls of residence, and she happened to be in the room. Um, next to me but not for long I think she was there just for a few months and um, uh, her friend was not really a friend in the end because she uh, she locked her in um, knowing that you know she'd had a, have a, a bit more difficulty than normal people uh, to get out so um, but I happened to be coming out of my, my room and I heard her sort of banging the door and, and trying to get out. So then I alerted my then boyfriend who, um, being the good English boy that he was, he, um, he, uh, um, sh sort of, um, not bang the door down, but he managed to bust the door open so that she wouldn't be in any more um, difficulty or distress. Yep. Those were the Italians that I met in, in London.